Hey everyone, we are working on an MSI GE62 laptop. I wanted to show a quick video on how to update BIOS and the EC or embedded controller. And we're doing that because based on our thermal readings here, we're actually seeing some pretty high thermals on this very specific section of the laptop. So if I measure it right now at idle, we're at almost 40 Celsius. And once it's under a tiny bit of load, maybe 20% CPU load, we're getting something close to, a, in Fahrenheit, be a bit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty warm, very uncomfortable. And diagnosing that, it seems to be an issue with the fan speed or the fan curve in BIOS, and MSI have sent us a patch to fix that. So I'm going to show you how to install that. So first of all, you download, for whatever laptop you're using, you download the relevant patches, and that's going to be an EC patch or embedded controller and a BIOS one. And we've got those two folders here. And so uh, this is one of them. We apply this update through the OS. So we can do this through Windows just by double clicking on the correct utility. And we've got EC Flash and EC Bat. I'm gonna try out EC Bat. That's gonna ask us some questions. So type Y to start flashing the embedded controller. Let's do that. And then that'll start running. The next step is to update BIOS. So we can already hear the fans starting to freak out a little bit. But when we update BIOS, we'll actually just shut down, boot into BIOS, and then load the ROM from the USB key that's already plugged in here. So to do that step, you download the BIOS ROM for whatever your laptop is, load it onto a USB key, it does, yikes. I don't know if you can hear that through the mic, but I guess something <laughs> it's working. Uh, so the fans are freaking out right now. We're gonna let this boot up, make sure it's okay, and then when we get into BIOS, we'll basically load the ROM from the USB key. It does not need to be a bootable key, is all I was trying to say before the fans interrupted me. So give this a second, and then, uh, <laughs> and then you'll see the next part once we get through this EC update. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna update the BIOS. The EC was correctly updated, even though the fans are freaking out, so they should all have a better fan control now with the BIOS update included. First thing to do is once you're in here, obviously hit delete to get in here before booting into Windows, and the system information tab will have the EC version right here and the BIOS version. You basically just check that number against whatever's on the laptop manufacturer's website. If it, yours is older, then it might need an update. Our EC version was .103 before, now it is .105. So it has definitely been updated. And now we're gonna go to the Advanced tab and go down to the UEFI BIOS update section. And this should be the same for any American Megatrends BIOS, basically. So we hit Enter here. UEFI BIOS update gives us a bunch of options. Uh, these are all just different identifiers for device paths. The one we want is this USB device that is the, S the USB drive I have plugged in right now. And we're gonna go down to the ROM file that I've got at the top level and then, uh, and then apply that. And that will update your BIOS from that point. You let it, let it go, let it shut down cycle power and you should be good to go, hopefully with better fan speeds and better thermals. So that is a quick fix to fan thermals on these newer laptops. If you are having problems where the fans aren't running high enough and so the CPU is overheating, uh, there's a million other things it could be as well, but leave a comment below. We'll try to help you out, or hopefully someone else will with some suggestions. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of coverage, as always, hit the Patreon link in the post video, and I'll see you all next time.